day you put in the work necessary what just what, what's going through your mind as you're getting ready to get in the blocks there oh uh, you know I'm just I would have kind of had a little chip in my shoulder uh, you know I know I coming in this season but it's been kind of a little rough for me but I really want to show everyone what my my capabilities were and I think I did that with that race I'm going in the blocks I was just going to win um, I wasn't going to settle for anything else than a championship and I'm very glad I got it done I mean, a lot of people in Atlantic were expecting you to win. Sometimes that's a lot to carry on your shoulders. Well, you, just, you handled it well. How do you think you did? Why you did? Uh, you know, um, coming in, I knew my team. You know, was expecting me to have me. And my guy confidence, my abilities to go out there. And if I ran my race, I knew good things would happen. So going into the race, I knew I had my team on my back, team was myself. And I just used that to fuel me to try to run the best race I could possibly. And your parents apparently didn't want you to hurdle like in junior high. Yeah, I'm um, coming in uh, my eighth grade year. And they had me start the hurdle, and my parents were all just like, "You don't need a hurdle. You're gonna hurt yourself." Then I went out my first race in middle school, and I, I broke the I broke the middle school record on the first race. And it's just all gone uphill from I mean down. It's all gone up from now. Did you fall in love with the hurdles right away? I mean, did you really realize that you enjoyed them from that first race? Yeah, de yeah, definitely. Um, you know, going into the practices and stuff, I wasn't a big fan. But after I ran and found that success, I knew I could do something if I could put it in the work. Last thing for me is just the team situation. Just this is a huge race, and the hurdles, you never know. One hit hurdle, and you're yeah, done. I mean, what does it mean to you to be able to put your team in such a great position here? Uh, you know, going in, I'm just kind of glad I got my team where we're at. I know we got the mile next in our 4x4, four four, and it's, right now it's a really, really tight race. So, you know, coming out here, I'm very glad I got our team 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. And I'm glad we've done for us. Thank you. This is the eighth medal you've won at three stadiums between state and it's great relays, but you're always kind of that close. Was there ever that thought in your mind, like maybe I'm not going to get a championship? Did you ever worry? No, coming in today, I knew I, I knew I had my best time coming in, and I knew if I ran my race, I'd be fine. Um, so. No, there wasn't really any thoughts. I was really confident coming to my race today. I knew I had to do it for, like I said, for my team and for myself. So I just feel great to go for that championship. When you think back to the success you started off as a freshman and a sophomore and to get here and it's a race that lasts 11, 12 seconds. You know, what's, does it, are you going to get into there at that point or what's, what's going through your mind when this is your last opportunity? Uh, yeah, that's a, exactly what you said. Uh, my, I was, my mind, it was my last chance. That's kind of been my motto. Uh, it's starting the day off my last two hundred of my high school career. Uh, this 4x4 is going to be the last 400 of my high school career. My one chance, as you said, last of the career. So I was just going out and trying to run my best race because it was my last one. And I was Using that, the 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 when being a runner up yesterday, does it, this, this event mean more to you than, than that one? I mean, you obviously want to get a gold in both. If you had to switch positions, would you rather have the gold in this one than that one? Yeah, definitely. I think I'd rather have the gold in the 110. So, I mean, I love the corner hurdles. Love hitting relationships. It's a tough one. But, um, you know, I hit the corner hurdles. I just I ran a great, great PR time. So I can't be disappointed with that. Did you always want to be a hurdle? Uh, at the I would say the going into the uh, seventh, eighth grade, uh, absolutely not. But uh, after eighth grade and high school, absolutely. Congratulations! Yeah. The, the relationship you have with with Coach Mullen, you guys are going to go down as the two greatest hurdlers in Atlantic history. Just mm -hmm. to be able to join him as a champion, as close as you guys are, that's that's going to be pretty special to you. Yeah, um, going for that too. I know he's a champion, and I'm a champion. And I've always kind of wanted that now, so I know. He's been real happy, and I'm going to be real happy as well. So when college and everything is over, are you going to be the next hurdle expert back in Atlantic yeah. teaching the next generation? We'll see how it goes, <laughs> uh, see how job opportunities and everything else. But I'd, I'd love to come back. And maybe, maybe someday, Coach, coach Atlantic. Thanks a lot, Thank you.